I have some green tree python neonates that need an upgrade from the current tubs that they've been in since they were hatchlings. I wanted the entire unit to be made out of waterproof materials. I happen to have a lot of acrylic and aluminium lying around, so that's what I ended up using. I started by making a frame out of square aluminium and nylon connectors. The aluminium tubes were cut to length and the tubes that are lipped were cut at a 45 degree angle at the end to allow them to be nicely jointed. Assembly was quite simple, and the only tool required was a rubber mallet. I drilled some holes in the frame itself, so all the wiring can be hidden within the tubes. I 3D printed some plastic clips to mount the LED bars on the top of the enclosure at a 45 degree angle. The LED bars and LED strips were cut to length and wired in place, and that's the frame completed. Three mil thick acrylic sheets were cut to size using a high tooth count blade on my table saw. They were attached to the frame using blind rivets. The acrylic I'm using was too flimsy to be used alone as a bottom panel, so I used a 3mm aluminium composite panel with it as well. The two sheets together is 6mm thick, so they sit flush within the aluminium frame once I drop them in. For this rack, the heating will be coming from the back creating a horizontal thermal gradient front to back. Insulation foam was cut to size and fitted at the back of the unit. This allowed more of the heat to be projected towards the tubs and waste less energy. The heating component itself was made out of 80 watt, 9 meter heat cord woven between a polycarbonate twin wall roof panel. I've made heat mats using this method before and have a video that shows that. What I needed to do was to remove some material at the end of the polycarbonate panel so that the heat cord can run entirely within the panel and not stick out at the ends. The heat panel was attached to the frame using some 3D printed clips. This allows me to easily remove and replace them if required in the future. A dimming thermostat will be used to regulate the temperature of these tubs. A hole was drilled to allow the probe to be fed into the unit and was fastened in place using another 3D printed clip. Now that the body of the rack is complete, I removed the protective film and moved on to working on the tubs. I wanted the rack to look as professional as possible, so I put in extra effort to make sure all the tubs are uniform. To do that, I marked out all the holes I was going to drill using this makeshift jig. In the past, I've always had issues with plastic cracking when drilling. I worked out that it helps using sharp drill bits, 
Make sure to drill slowly and apply very minimal pressure. And always drill smaller pilot holes before moving up to larger holes. For this project, I drilled close to 300 holes in these thin cheap plastic tubs without a single crack using these methods. Moving on to the perch, I wanted something that is waterproof and not porous. It needed to be a system where the perches can be placed in and taken out of the tubs easily, but still secure and won't spin on itself. I decided to try using plastic coat hangers for perches and 3D printed some parts for mounting them in the tubs. As the pythons grow, I will also have the option of changing the perches to a larger diameter without changing out the mounts. This is my first time raising young green tree pythons and my first time building a rack specifically for them. As with all my other builds, I'll find things I don't like about it and things that I love. So there probably will be another video in the future for a bigger and better build.